Hello everyone and welcome back to uh, France campaign of 1910. Um, not really much to say. Um, we ended off last episode on a battle that we obviously didn't do because the episode was already long enough, like 20 minutes. Um, <coughs> I intend to fill this episode with just that battle and maybe a couple more turns if it allows. But yeah, we, we have to look at our opponents first before we can judge this being a, a worthwhile investment of our ships. So the first thing I notice is that we have a lot more tonnage generally with the indoptable. Uh, um, I feel like that's just because it's really overweight for whatever reason. I don't know how it's not sinking. <laughs> Um, these are the ones with 305s, so they're meh. They have a lot smaller guns, but they just have so many of them that um, that is enough to fear on its own. Um, second thing, they don't have any heavy cruisers escorting. While my heavy cruisers are abundant, we have three of them, and our light cruisers are far heavier than theirs, so I want to know what armament they're using. They have four main guns, generally, which we can deal with when we have four 137s, which are a lot more powerful. Um, <coughs> I do think we can deal with them. It's just that it is going to be heavy on the destroyer losses because, primarily, they're, uh, just the absolute number of light cruisers is going to kill us. But... Without further hold up. Um, interesting sounds. I'm going to turn my volume down as well as yours. Nice. Very nice. I didn't do any audio testing before this, so um, hopefully it doesn't sound too bad for you guys. All right. Okay, that is a weird lineup or a weird organization of a battleship. I don't really. I don't know. All right. We already start firing, which I don't like because that gives us less time to organize. Um, looks like we've been going a while then, because we've moved quite far. So our heavy cruisers are screening. I just want them to follow, because they provide firepower. I, I'd like my battleships to keep tight. Um, my light cruisers, I only have two light cruisers. What? Yeah. Okay. Uh, the destroyers, I want them scouting, generally. And these ones can just stay screening, that's fine. Our light cruisers, um... <coughs> I kind of want to control them independently, since they are going to be the main light cruiser hunting force. I don't know the strength of the Austro-Hungarian fleet, but if it's anything like the pitiful performance of the German fleet, which we sank a heavy cruiser and two light cruisers in the last episode... I'm sure we will have quite an easy time, so right now with our situation, I think it's best to just get as much smoke out and bring as much confusion to the battlefield as possible. We have very many guns on these ships, and we're going to use them. Uh, Leon. Okay. So we're not spotting anyone, that's fine. <coughs> um... Never mind that. We have fleets over here that I know of, but we also have fleets over here, which is definitely going to bring complications to the strategy because now our light cruisers, I need to control them too because they're going to scout. We're going to turn, uh, turn the torps off because I don't have any targets in mind yet. Um, I'd like to get them closer together. Those appear to be the heavy cruiser. No, they don't have heavy cruisers. The battleships. The three battleships. Those might be it. 
If so, pitiful escorts. Um, okay, this is a rough situation. I I like my I like my light cruisers just spotting here. I would actually prefer that I don't get torqued. That torp won't hit me. Um, <coughs> our 152s won't be able to clear much, but the battleship artillery will get to what it needs to. Um, what, what is this targeting? The moment they get into secondary range, we will annihilate them like... Oh, wow. Hot knife through butter. Their fleet is already falling apart, and that was probably a light cruiser, actually. Um, we have 33,000 damage on them. We're sinking ships before we even find out what they are, which I'd like to say is good, but... Um, is that going to hit my battleship? It is going to hit my battleship. I really should have paid more attention. Um, okay, that's an interesting way to change the fleet up a little bit, but I'll allow it. I will very much allow it, and welcome it, actually. Because a battleship alone in a squadron is going to be bad for me. Um, these guys, what are they doing? Mogador, you get in the battle. Uh, Rafal, join Mogador. Okay, so this is definitely confusion, causing great confusion, but, oh, La Galicineer is no more. Um, I know that La Galicineer can't turn, but since Arethus, I can't, like, I'm not very good at that. I try, I'm sorry for... I am actually aware of French speakers watching my channel. I'm so sorry that you have to hear my incoherent, absolute stupidity trying to pronounce your language. Um, <coughs> I try, but um, that doesn't really work too much. Leon, I think that I can. Honestly, put indomitable, or indomitable with Leon again. So Leon can just be the ship, main ship here, and then we're going to resume the natural fleet formation. Um, that is a nice DD rush. I do appreciate it, but it kills us. Without destroyers, we're a dead fleet. Um, yeah, about what I expected from Funfire. Uregen? There's a jet named after you. I don't want you dying because you're actually my useful destroyers. I always try to go for really good destroyers, but a fleet that's otherwise mid. Because truly, in this game, do you really... Oh, you still can't turn? Well, then just keep retreating. Maybe I can get away with... Sending Urhagen. I need to get Urhagen and Funfire. Oh, Funfire is dead. Detach. And you are going to retreat since you are damaged. Now, Commandant Lucas... Oh, who's weighing you down? You. Detach. Fanfare. You go with Regen. And Lucas. And Gafal. Um, I run a torpedo reload, actually. So you can't do anything. Um, okay, I know that my battleships are damaged, but you need to stop breaking formation every two seconds. Wait, did I just put Indomitable with 
Whoops. Okay. If this game will work at all. I don't I don't know why it's bugging out right now. I certainly don't appreciate it, but it's not the end of the world, I suppose. Um, okay, how are you guys on reload? You're halfway down. I'm going to get you closer. You're going to screen the battleships. Ach, Friedrich? Um... We're not causing as much damage as I'd like. Um, he's gonna ram. He's gonna ram. He's gonna ram. I'm getting myself away from him. Is he fast? No. Okay. 20 knots. I was I was actually really afraid that my ships would be too slow in this campaign, but it, at least for the Mediterranean, doesn't appear to be such a issue unless the Italians start lashing out at me, which is always very possible. We are currently losing. Well, not on damage, but we are... In terms of ships lost, we've lost um, a good few now. We've lost a heavy cruiser. And Duply. I don't know why you aren't torping. You probably can't, because they're front-mounted, right? Um... The fact that uh, we're doing that much damage to Airsoft Free Grease, though, is good. Could be better, though. Um, I'm going to try and go in between these two battleships. Uh, I can't do that. I have to keep all my firepower on one side. That wastes two or four guns, which is bad for us. Uh, there goes another heavy cruiser, which means our escort against the smaller ships is basically done for, which is not good. Um, Leon? Leon, Leon, Leon. Uh, just keep focusing uh, the Friedrich. Okay, you missed and hit another battleship. There goes your ply. Unfortunate. I'm gonna have to retreat because I have no defense against destroyers except for my own destroyers, which are they're good destroyers, but I don't really want to sacrifice my only good battleships in the Mediterranean to these. Um, you can rebuild destroyers in a few months, but you can't you just can't rebuild battleships as fast. It's not worth the loss that it causes. Um, Guy Fao and Lucas, I'm gonna just send them out to Torp. Uh, is torping is just so... Okay, they did Torp, I just didn't see it. Which is odd, I guess. I uh, haven't any idea why they just started hitting every shell they shoot at our relatively quick moving destroyers with their high caliber guns. Uh, those are torps. No, 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 battleship. Bad battleship. You actual retard. Why can't you turn? Okay, we've sunk two battleships, we just need this one last battleship sunk. Although, I'm more concerned about Lytha. Lytha, which is bad for us. Um, where are you going? When did I click to go that way? Oh, because in... They're trading up. The more I play this game, the more I realize it is just absolutely stupid how it works. So our battleships do not want to um, individually... No one wants to take leadership, so I'm going to have to put them into their own divisions. Which is inefficient. Indomitable... Or Leon, actually. Can't 
team to turn around, even though it's very needed right now. Um, I don't suppose the heck I can tort me, so I'm not going to worry about him. Um, not having any barbat cannons is really ruining this right now. I think that's what's going to happen on the refits of these. When I try to make them last longer, I'm going to just get more guns. And then after that, try and get bigger guns, because I don't think I can afford to put new battleships into action, even years in the future, because my... I just, I, I believe that I'm already overstretched, and my conflicts will happen way too quickly in succession, so... Um... Yeah. Their battleships retreating. I don't quite like that. If anything, we need to sink the battleship out of this situation so that um, all this stops being an issue. Uh, Leon, you need to kill that destroyer or else you're dead. I do hope you notice the impending danger. Uh, indomitable. Can you turn, please? I think I did a unbalanced rudder. I don't know why these guys take so long, but they're battleships. Oh, not to mention they're going uh, extremely slow for one reason or another. I don't know. I feel like the game's just being buggy right now, too. It's just throwing a fit. Okay, Indomitable. Blah, blah. Indomptible. I don't know. I'm retarded. Rekka. Please. Hit Rekka. Oh, those are slow destroyers. 34.5? I mean, that's not slow for this time period, but those won't last till the 30s. Obviously. I don't know. My plan for my fleet was just longevity. So that they'll be good now but they'll still be good and r easy to refit in the future so i'm sacrificing their now performance for their later performance um as you can see i armored the crap out of these ships it didn't work too well though for whatever reason um unfortunate you are going to follow leon The battleship is causing a lot of issues, but the light cruisers can definitely torp me if they so chose. Oh. Well, thanks, Lagalisanir. You're still firing. You're still in the battle. Getting free hits on the Shvantishan. Um, we got a fire on him earlier. Definitely in, uh, reduced the structural integrity. Which is good. Can this light cruiser sink? Ever? Another detonation. Okay, that should sink him. Uh, I'm gonna get greedy and go for the Hanimits as well. Um, I don't know where that other light cruiser is. If there even is one still alive. I don't think there is. So, even though we've lost a... We've only, we've, okay, so we lost three heavy cruisers, that's bad, and we also lost three destroyers. They've lost two battleships, almost all of their light cruisers in this fleet, which is definitely an advantage. Okay, that's a destroyer. I'm going to set this guy to go for the ESPN. Just catch up to the ESPN, please. How slow is he? How slow are you going? 17.5? And 15.5? You'll never catch up. Oh, but he's going slow too, I'm sure, because he is very wide beam and he's flooding everywhere. So that'll create a lot of drag on their everything. Okay, that's even more uh, fires and compartments down. Their engine rooms are flooding. That is very bad for them yeah this is definitely turning out to be a resounding 
victory. Even I don't care that I lost the heavy cruisers. Heavy cruisers in the French fleet at this time are just so useless. It, it's un very unfortunate. Once I get the modern cruiser hulls, I will then see to making more heavy cruisers. But until then, we don't have flat deck cruisers. We have tumblehums, and tumblehums are useless. I'd go as far to say as I'd go as far to say that they are the most useless hull that could ever be used at this time period because they're just they're incapable of being well armored. I mean, they're decreasing the total space that you could use. Their armor is pitiful, of course. Their structural integrity is pitiful. They can't keep good stability. They're very easy to spot. They stick out like a sore thumb. What else? You can't put many guns on it. It's just a useless hull that will do us no good in the future. Anyways, we're going to finish off this battleship, and I will get to you with the results. And there it goes. That was a well-fought battle. Leon is mid-damaged. But we got 87,000 victory points, so they're 33,000. They sunk three heavy cruisers. They sunk three destroyers, but that was so worth it. Seven cruisers, eight destroyers, three battleships. That's a that's terrible fleet composition, by the way. So, um, if you're ever in your campaign <laughs> campaigns, don't don't overstack your destroyers and cruisers because it really threatens your operational organization. In that battle, I tried to be as organized, orderly with my ships as possible. Um, we might see peace with the Austro-Hungarians in this episode unless a battle happens and it forces me to do that instead of the peace terms which would be terrible um what do we have here a battleship they're just sending their fleet through the suez canal but you can never blockade the suez canal for whatever reason because this game is just odd the british don't even have why don't the british have egypt it's 1911 they should have Egypt. Like, they, they should have Egypt already because of the, the Suez, or the Egyptian crisis, Ottoman Egyptian crisis, whatever. Um, I forget where our ships are. Okay, we do have a fleet in there and there. Okay, we're not even engaging, I remember. Um, they're making 0% advance, which is perfect. I don't know why my army still... Oh, I forgot. We already have Thailand. That is a very nice um, addition to our, col our colonies. Because, once again, welcoming a very large port into the mix of our empire. Um... It's a very interesting situation. Okay, let's see what the Austro-Hungarians have to offer. Looks like failed negotiations. Oh, 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 peace. Oh, we could make them pay with battleships. But I'm going to be honest, Austro-Hungary has nothing to offer that is at all good i could just take their entire fleet and scrap it but that is a waste of just time i wouldn't consider that a minor victory on the seas but they're just gonna pay they're gonna pay a lot of money to me um this is a battle a small battle for the next video thank you for watching and i will be sure to introduce you to idiot Austro-Hungarians and stupid Germans in the future episodes. Um, this one went over in a lot of time because of the battle, of course. it's When you have big battles like that, it's worth making a larger episode for. We had a large war at the start that makes this campaign just a lot 
longer initially, but um, we'll start speeding up the episodes soon, and it'll start cover covering more time, and we'll definitely be able to make these more enjoyable. Um, thank you for watching, and I will see you in another video.